The Orange County Board of Education stirred up controversy recommending schools reopen with kids on campus and no safety precautions. But now the individual districts are revealing what they'll do. KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely looks at some of the plans. It really doesn't affect us at all. The Orange County Board does not dictate what we do as a district. The Orange County Board of Education has no authority, has no say, no jurisdiction, absolutely no control. Orange County's Board of Education members want to get kids back to school without masks or social distancing, but local school boards insist it's not up to them. Newport Mesa Unified is announcing its plan for classroom learning for kindergarten through sixth grade, but students do have other options when school starts in 40 days. One is going back 100 percent. Number two is going back every day, but for a shorter period of time within the classroom with the teacher. The other would be outside with other people. And the third option would be if we had to go to distance learning 100%. NMUSD families that prefer online learning have a separate virtual district academy with its own principal. At the district's 32 schools, social distancing will be in place and decisions about where masks will be worn on campus will be announced. The plan for secondary education will be voted on next week. But it's a far different story at Santa Ana Unified, Orange County's second largest school district. Students won't be returning in the fall and education will be 100% virtual, at least initially. Meantime, in the Ocean View School District in Huntington Beach, there are two options, a year of virtual education or on-campus instruction with smaller classes for students learning in plexiglass corrals, keeping safety in mind. We are reevaluating literally on a daily basis, you know, the safety of returning to school, but we feel we have a really good plan. In Huntington Beach, Michelle Geely, KCAL 9 News.